you don't have to be in the same faith I'm in or you ain't got to call God the same thing I call him. But listen to me, you do have to call him though. It's not going to make your life easy. Faith don't make it easy. Faith makes it possible. All you want is the strength to get through your life. On the days that I feel like I'm not going to make it, on the days that it feels like I can't endure anymore, I think back on my track record for surviving all my bad days. And so far, surviving all my bad days, my track record is 100%. It ain't about the money. I know a lot of very, very rich people that's miserable. Not happy at all. I can bet you most of you are happier than most of the people I know. And I know some very, very wealthy people. And it, money don't make you happy. It helps you through a lot of situations. You know the only thing about money? Money takes all emergencies and turns them into mere inconveniences. That's what money does. Really, other than that, it, it's, it's a lot to come with money. People think when you get famous or rich that your problems is over. More money, more problems. But I'll tell you the truth right now. The problems I got right now, I take them. Because the problems I had when I was homeless, I don't want them no more. Money gonna change your life a little bit, folks. All of you gonna get more, but you gotta ask for it. But if that's your desire to get more of it, you gotta ask God for it. If you wanna be happy or successful, you gotta ask God for it. Most people don't have the life of their dreams because you don't ask God for it. You have not because you ask not. If you up your ask, he will up his gill. If you change what you ask God for, he immediately changes what he gives to you. You don't need an education to be successful. I don't, I flunked out of school. What God has for you, quit tying it in education. People kill me. I know people got two degrees and they go back to school and get another one. If you got two of them that ain't working for you, why would you go get another one of them? I know people that's mastered and PhD though, ain't even working. You don't need that. I'm telling you, man, your whole success is tied in your relationship to God. You can simplify this by getting in touch with your creator. That's your key, man. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why I lose my job? You ain't the only one unemployed. Pull yourself together and quit tripping cause you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. He gonna fix it. Everything is wrong. First of all, let me tell you this right here. Why are you tripping? I look back on my life at all that I've been through. So the stuff I'm currently going through I have built up enough reservoir that living in the car taught me that this ain't it.
So the things I'm going through now, I know this ain't it. That he gonna come get me in a minute. So all I gotta do is sit tight. I ain't in a bad place. Now I ain't where I wanna be, but the spot I'm in is better than where I was. I ain't homeless. Everything that's happening to you is God is processing. Every difficult moment you're having, he's just processing. That's all he's doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough when you get to where you're going, then he's going to toughen you. If you got to be more caring along the way, He's going to let you have some trials come your way that's going to have to produce that in you. See, the route you on right now is the route you got to take. And it's very uniquely yours. This thing you're going through, this just uniquely yours. You just got to understand you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one going through it. Now, in the order that it's going to happen, it's just yours. You have not because you ask not. It simply say you have not because you ask not. But you don't ask because you ain't got that together. When you ask God for something, quit tripping. He got it from here. God can't give you what you want because you want to hold on to what you got. You all in the way. Now you telling him how to bless you. You can't tell God how to bless you. It's a simple process. The only reason I'm telling you this because this is how I made it. I just do me. I just, I'm just being me. I stay uniquely who I am because you are okay just the way you are, because you, God made you uniquely who you are. He wanted you to be just like you are. See, God made us very different. This is a, this God we got, God is amazing. He created you so individually. Do you know that it's close to 8 billion people on earth now? Do you know that it's almost 8 billion people on the earth? Do you know how many billions of people have died? Do you know that if you dig up all them people that have died and all the people that are presently here and every last one of them that he gonna make in the future, not one of you have the same fingerprint. Who do that? Who could possibly be so precise in his infinite wisdom that he created you so uniquely that ain't no two people got the same fingerprint? That's crazy, man. That's real crazy.